Hello and good day everyone. Uh, this is Roy and we are on the Roy Tech channel in YouTube. I am trying to introduce to you in this video uh, a project which you can use in developing database programs uh, in Windows desktop using Visual Studio 2022, particularly using C Sharp. I've been longing to create this series for a long time, despite the fact that you can find a lot of video tutorials in YouTube on how to program databases using C Sharp and SQL Server. Uh, however, I've been wanting to do this because I want a practical approach to teaching this particular subject. Uh, the way that we are going to do this is that at the end of the course, we are going to produce an output, an, an actual uh, c -sharp project that can be used to write uh, practical database applications such as inventory programs, academic information systems, hotel systems, and others. Uh, the, the actual project is actually already done at the time of this recording, and it can be downloaded from uh, GitHub on the link that I'm going to specify below uh, this video. Uh, let me introduce you the output first so that uh, you'll be able to explain the significance of this tutorial. Here is the project, the, the main output. It's actually a platform which you can use to write programs, or rather database programs, other applications using c -Sharp. For example, it is mandatory that programs should uh, start with uh, login screens. So this has already a login screen. Like for example, you can log in as a user, then you can type a password, and then show or hide the password. It's already like that. It's a normal application. In this case, I've left the password blanks uh, so that it will be easy for you to start with. And then you click log in and you have the application there. Now, uh, the application usually will uh, occupy almost whole, whole of the screen. We will discuss how this is done. And it, this already contains basic user administration where there are two users installed, a simple user and an admin user. The user that I'm using currently is a simple user. The simple user can uh, edit his profile. For example, let me clear the photo first. So, which means he can uh, edit certain things like uh, load a picture, okay, assign a picture like that, and then click open and the picture will be saved in the database. He can change it by clearing it and he can, uh, for example, uh, type an, uh, an email address. Now, if it, this application will also allow users to uh, uh, send and receive, rather send you, send email right from this application. Although it doesn't have an email client, which can which will uh, allow you to receive your emails, you can already uh, send emails right from this application. So, for example, uh, uh, the SMTP, the default SMTP and a port of gmail is given us uh, 587 okay smtp port force uh, okay port 587 okay. the smtp is smtp.gmail.com .com and uh, the port is 587 okay and right there and then the, the user can also change his password like that okay so that the next time he logs in he will be using that password so now uh, before I proceed uh, let me uh, log out again using an, an admin user. So there's a log out button where okay, you can log in differently as a different user. It's an admin user. 
the main difference between a plain user and an admin user is an admin user can uh, use roles, allow roles, no? like certain roles, being the administrator or being the user of a certain portion of the program. Okay? So, uh, the administrator can view and uh, view the roles. Okay? And, okay. However, no, the roles are uh, encoded manually into the database because uh, they, they entail some sequent programming requirements later. And then, uh, the admin can also edit individual user profiles, okay? Like, uh, he can load his own photo and uh, then change the photo of an old, an old user, okay? edit it, and assign roles to the, to the user. For example, if I want the user Roy to become an administrator, I'm just going to assign him uh, the administrator, okay? And then uh, I can also assign an email to the to 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 the admin. Like for example, I use okay, whatever address, and you can also use the SMTP of Gmail. Gmail Gmail and five eight seven. You can assign a birthday and a, a gender. Save. Okay. Now, right there and then, if the user has defined his Gmail, or rather his email address, he can also send email to the to the particular user. Okay. Uh, we will demonstrate this uh, along the course as we discuss the the topic of uh, sending emails to to other users or other to, to other people using the application and then uh, so this has a bit this already has the basic uh, user administration for users and roles and uh, the user can change his own profile and change password and then he can make emails to others okay to other people and there's a demonstration also on how to use several components which we have already created in order to hasten the programming activity or rather the programming process for example i have made use of examples of or demos regarding how to use indeterminate progress bars because progress bars are useful we are going to use them every time there's a, there are expected delays like loading of uh, large tables you no know, saving of uh, 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 large records and others so we have a indeterminate progress bar now to make it professional looking uh, we will try to avoid the message dialogue of the that is built in visual studio however we are going to create our own custom boxes like a custom message box like box like like this where you just have an ok button and then there's a, an information icon so, and then there's also a message box for a warning where the icon is a warning, a warning sign. There's also a message box which asks yes or no with the default of yes. And then it will return the strings yes or no. And then there's yes, no cancel. Okay. And then there's also a dialog boxes for asking strings so that it will be easy for us to ask names. No? And, that, uh, and other th strings, no? you can cancel, and we will know that the user has canceled or okay. Uh, a password, okay, where there's a show and height, you can also do that. And there's also a, a date, when you ask for a date, we already have a dialog box for that with a calendar functionality. And we also have an asking for integers, okay. And then we can also ask for uh, doubles. So we particularly uh, in, uh, tailored this so that uh, when we uh, develop the application, we will not have to write long codes every time we ask for values from users or send messages to our user. We have already custom boxes and custom dialog boxes. So that, that will be the what the project is all about. 
And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to install and run uh, this demo that you can download from GitHub. Now, before everything, I will not be uh, making videos on how to install Visual Studio 2022 anymore because there's a lot of them. However, you are required to have installed uh, Visual Studio 2022 with Windows uh, desktop development uh, platform uh, included. And you should have an MS SQL Server Express okay, installed and uh, an SQL Server Management Studio. Like this, no? MS SQL Server Management Studio. So, in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can download and run the actual project. See you then and bye for now.